Hey guys, okay, so, um, I honestly don't know why I feel the need to mess with my tanks before I start videos, <laughs> um, but I basically, okay, I guess I should start this first. Okay, so I went to PetSmart today with my friend Hoseel, and, um, we're, he's starting up his fish tank, and, you know, just like a regular, simple fish tank, I guess, but, um, I had found, or I have found, hair grass there before, and um, that's just my all-time favorite plant. Like, if I could have any plant in my aquarium, it would be hair grass, but um, I found it there, and like, literally, it was lifeless. There were maybe a couple of sprouts, you know, like, maybe, like, whew, that one's got a runner, uh, but maybe, like, that total out of the whole entire, you know, just, uh little bucket thing that they come in, the planted pots, but, um, I went there and I found, what are these, dwarf micro narrow leaf swords, or something like that, um, but, uh, they look how green these are, like, literally, this, so freaking green, it's ridiculous, and they have runners, like, like, that's, these are all runners. Uh, runners. Can you, like, really? <laughs> I was just, look at those roots. It's ridiculous. I mean, just compared to the quality of how that hair grass was. This is just freaking amazing. So, I'm going to try in my 10 gallon because that's the only, like, type of decent lighting I have. <laughs> um, it, you know, they're LEDs. I'm going to show you guys. Yeah. yeah, they're LEDs and they have blue lights. And someone told me that that, um, like, promotes algae growth or whatever. But that's <laughs> all I have, so I'm just going to have to stick with it. Oh, okay, so here's one of my bulbs. This is the onion one. And look, it's already sprouting. It's only been like a day, but um, that's pretty cool. So I'm, I think I'm just going to plant this in my 29 gallon and hope for the best. My fingers look really big. <laughs> um, but yeah. Hope for the best, I guess. Um, none of my other bulbs have sprouted, though. But I so, I'm going to plant these. I'm going to look up a video on how to separate them without hurting them. Because this is just like one big root clump. You know, just like intertwined with runners. And just, I mean, look at this ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. I guess I should hold it the other way. But yeah, um... The, what was I doing? I was doing something, like getting the, my plants out, and this little baby fish just swam at me, and I swear to God, I thought it was a shark. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, they're just getting so big, it's just, I know I say that like every single video, but it's tripping me out, just how big they're getting, because you know, like, you get them to where they're like the size of a pen-ish, tip of a pen, you know, and they're... They're just getting so big. Oh, by the way, I did fill up my tank, but I um, took out some of the water to put the uh, money wart and uh, java fern in. So I did fill it up. Don't. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I filled it up, but uh, I had to take some to put the plants in. But um. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to get something for this tank to start cleaning up, because I guess my ghost shrimp are gone. But, uh, yeah. Sorry it's so dang cloudy. It's dirty. But, um, I'm going to plant these and see how it goes. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, but I just thought this was freaking amazing. So I wanted to share it with everyone. Is that PetSmart? Like, really? PetSmart? Thank you. <laughs>
Um, okay, guys. I hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.